That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. My name is Anthony Parker, and this is Promotional Time Sunday. I am proud to welcome guests all the way from Scotland, <laughs> and they are going to be talking about a creation that they have that can help out a lot of blind people. It's called the Ramble Tag. That's R-A-M-B-L-E Tag. Now, I was excited. I had saw them on, a, uh, I think it was LinkedIn, and I had to find out exactly what this was all about. And uh, today, Lauren and Tom, who's a very good friend of hers, is going to come to us and talk about the Ramble Tag, what it is, how effective, why they came up with it, and all that good stuff. But before we jump into that, I want to tell you all, thank you all for subscribing. Make sure you all newcomers, new subscribers, hit that notification bell so that you can get updates on important topics like these and others, and make sure to share the video. Now, coming for you, coming for, from all the way from, uh, again, uh, <laughs> Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Uh, what time is it over in Scotland? Dinner time. Dinner time? Six okay. okay, well, it's, it's 12 o'clock my time, and, uh, you know, it's, God, it's a big difference. But never, nevertheless, I'm going to let them get on with what they have to do because I know they are hungry. What are y'all going to eat uh, this uh, today? What are y'all going to eat today? Have you got your dinner planned, Tom? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have haggis. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Are you really? <laughs> and what are you, what are you going to have, Lauren? Hey, I don't know, actually. Um, my, my partner's trying to make me have takeaway, and I'm trying to eat healthy, so I might give in by the time we're finished. I might be like, yeah, okay. just just give me anything. Do they, drink a, do, they drink a, do, they, do they drink a lot of beer over there in Scotland? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's certainly other more, more typical drinks like whiskey and you know, oh. but fast things like that that are quite famous for Scotland. But okay. yeah, well, before you all get the, beer. before you all get the urge to drink some whiskey, I want you all to tell me exactly what's going on, what the Ramble Tag is all about, and just give a give us a little history, my audience, a little history about uh, what you all do, and then we're gonna talk about the Ram Ramble Tag. Go ahead, either one of y'all. Okay, you go. Me. Wait, I'll just turn the camera for me. Uh, hiya, so yeah, Tom and I are neighbours. Um, we moved. I moved in a few years ago, got to know him. Um, he's blind and occasionally he would want help walking his dog and I've got a dog as well. Um, so we would go out walking our dogs together and just over time we kind of realised that traditional guidance methods weren't for us and we started to think what what other kind of ways would there be that would make it easier and um, that we could keep up with each other easier that our dogs would pull us apart and we would separate uh, and we were just kind of having a bit of a laugh and uh, I was like oh Tom you need something better to hold on to and he's like I need a wee handle attached to your arm or you know something and from there we just kind of looked at each other and thought no, surely there must be something like that that exists already so we googled it and searched it on the internet and uh, tried it in different languages and we, we couldn't find anything so we just had to make one for ourselves that we did that night and then went out the next day gave it a wee go and we, we loved it uh, for different reasons because I, I was loving it for reasons as a guide and Tom was loving it for reasons as a, a blind person being guided um, so yeah, it just snowballed from there, and we've we've never stopped. And that was two thousand and eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we 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 came up with it in the summer and had it sailing by October. We okay. did we did not stop. <laughs> okay. Now you're sighted, right, uh, Lauren? I'm sighted. Okay. And Tom is totally blind. Yeah. Okay. Now, for those who don't, because I have I have some uh, blind audiences, so let's be more descriptive and tell them exactly. Uh, I'm gonna let you describe it too as well, uh, Tom. Uh, what the uh, ramble tag is all about, how it's shaped, and, and just give us a, a vivid description of it. 
Uh, that me? Yeah. yeah. Um, hi there. Um, basically, the Rambo tag, it's um, uh, a lightweight, um, we'll, we'll call it a harness, but it's very similar to, I guess you could say, the sort of thing you would put round your arm if you were having your uh, blood pressure tested. So um, it sits on the upper arm of the guide and is held in place by two uh, Velcro straps. Um, it offers the 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 visually impaired uh, a handle uh, which he can hold, which obviously to hold on to, to slip his fingers through. And um, it's a very simple way um, of being guided that you know over can overcome um, you know a lot of uh, you know potentially awkward situations. When we tried it initially, I found it um, extremely flexible. Um, I think it also gave me just that touch of maybe a wee bit more independence, which um, I guess led on to being a bit more confident. Um, and for me, it was um, a real pleasure. And obviously the big benefit for Laura and I was that it allowed us as I say, that much more flexibility and far much more leeway for our dogs who seem to enjoy the whole experience <laughs> very well. Okay, so now uh, as I sit here and try to picture the, the, the whole setup, uh, the sighted person would wrap the, the, the uh, and you can explain, Lauren, uh, the, uh, the one end around their, their, their arm and this blind person would hold the handle. How would it, how does it actually work? That's right. Yeah. Do you want to? No, um, on you. Yeah. So, so it wraps around the upper arm of the guide. We do have one for the wrist as well, which people use for guide running. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's it's so that the blind person is the one that's always got control. They hold the handle. Sometimes people mix it up and think it's for the blind person to wear, but it's not because we know that people don't want to be grabbed or or you know dragged about. So it's definitely for the guide to wear. Um. And it just, the, the, the person being guided, it means they're not having to maybe in a hot day hold a bare arm that might be sweaty or, you know, on a cold day they're holding a big wet jacket or something. So it's just mm -hmm. this sort of weatherproof, comfortable handle that's that's always sitting at the, the elbow area. Um, and it's just an alternative to linking arms that maybe somebody with arthritis in their fingers finds it hard to close, you know, to open their hand to close it around a big arm. So they can hold on to we handle easier. And I, see the, and I see, and I see the benefits because I, that's that was going to be the next question in terms of what 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 are the benefits as, as opposed to just the actual sighted guy versus having that. And you kind of answered that as well, Tom. You want to say something? Tom. Uh, oh yeah, I, I was just thinking that um, you know Laura had mentioned you know she thought maybe it was a bit difficult, but. Uh, we find it's extremely uh, popular and there are situations when, when maybe uh, you might be a bit uncomfortable, for example, with a guide that you don't know. Um, so it avoids if you, you know, that right. personal contact. Right. So it just gives you that wee bit of distance as well. Equally right. well, there might be a cultural situation. So um, it seems to fit in there. And... The situation over here is um, if we sometimes, if we would require assistance, you know, uh, say when traveling or something, we would be um, in many cases offered a wheelchair and um, for a physically abled uh, blind person, really the last thing we want to do is being, is be put in a wheelchair. So we have them. Uh, you know, over here in airports and in train stations. So it means that, um, you know, on arrival, if you, you know, introduce yourself to the, the assistance team at these places, mm -hmm. you can very easily be led to, uh, you know, wh wherever you have to go, whether it's the, you know, the, the, the gate uh, at the airport or you can be shown along the, the platform onto the, the train or whatever. So it's a very easy way of just, you know, with without 
as I say, that physical contact. But uh, we believe that as more and more visually impaired people, you know, get used to it, we'd like to think that it might be something that they can expect. And we would hope that uh, knowing that that would be available for them, it might just make that, you know, the travelling, you know, situation maybe a bit uh, less uh, tense than, you know, possibly it could be. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, we're speaking with Lauren and Tom who have created the Ramble Tag. How did y'all come up with the name, Lauren, Ramble Tag? So, <laughs> we were back and forth uh, by text saying, you know, call it this, call it that. We had about 20, 30 names for it, and uh, we would basically laugh at each other's idea. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then uh, one day I was out, got a text from Tom, and it just said, Ramble Tag. And I was like, oh, my goodness, yes. <laughs> I, I like the name. I definitely do. Now, uh, a couple more questions. Now, describe, either one of y'all could take this uh, question. Describe to me how, how long the uh, the tag, the, uh, the, the it's like a, it's like a, an elastic or something like that. How long, how long is it? And uh, when walking with a sighted person, um, do you put it on your, your left, your left arm? How does it, how is it positioned? Either one of y'all could uh -huh. take that. So the handle itself is about, um, mm -hmm. we do have one, I should have had one handy, I've got one in here, I'll get it in a minute when Tom's on, yeah, but yeah, yeah the so. handle is about five inches long, so it's enough to put your four fingers into, mm -hmm. um, we didn't want anything too big, we went through different models, when we started making them we had the handle longer, we had it shorter, and we let different blind people with our guides try it, and we, we got it to a length that we felt everybody um, liked best because if it's too big there's too much swing mm -hmm. and if it's too tight there's not enough sort of suspension mm -hmm. so um, it, it's just enough to put four fingers you know average size fingers through but mm -hmm. uh, it's it'll hang about the, the the height of the elbow so it sits around the same height as the elbow okay, okay. Uh, to, to replace the cup and elbow method um, and what was what was the other question? Sorry. No, I, I was asking how how long uh, is it like is it like a belt first of all? Like. Um... All right. Uh -huh. So what it's made from? There's a rope interior, and then it's like a kind of similar to neoprene type outer surface. So even if it's raining, uh, it's nice and you know it doesn't absorb water. It, 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 if it does, it will dry very quickly. So it's it's weather resistant, sort of spongy fabric around a rope, a light a lightweight rope. Um so it's firm, nice and firm, but soft as well. Okay. Now just for instance, you and I were walking how and, and I wanted to use the Ramble tag. How would we what, what, what would we do first? You would put it on my I would put it on my I would hold it and you would put it on your left arm or it goes across your body. <laughs> Tell the audience how well, yeah, so I would ask you, like, what side do you typically, typically like your guide to walk on? Or maybe if you use a cane with your right hand, you would need the guide on your left. Right. But sometimes if people are being guided, they don't want to use their cane. So you just determine what side the person wants you to walk on, and then you put it on the arm that will be beside them. So you're, you're side by side, um, and you can have the handle sticking out the side of your arm, or you can wrap it turn it around the back a little bit more so that the person's slightly, their hand's slightly behind you. Right, right. So it's kind of like a, a, a self, you know, a preference of individuals, what angle they want the handle. Tom likes it right at the side. Mm. Other people like it turned around the back. So it's versatile in how you use it. But yeah, the, I would put it on the arm that is closest to you. Okay. And Tom, how is it? You, 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 Tom, you, you work, you walked a sighted guy before, right? Yes. yes, I do. And how, how effective is the Rambo tag versus just actually walking? Because it, it seems like it does allow a sense of uh, freedom with your other, with your hand and whatnot. So how, how is it? It, it, it does. I always felt that um, using, are you familiar with the, the cup and elbow method? Yes. You know, you, you would hold the elbow of your guide. Yes. Well, what what I tended to find that um, it would seem to be to be you know so very rigid, uh, and I felt that at times um, it was always as if two people were trying to walk as one, and you know sometimes it was difficult to for uh, you know to keep pace or to lose pace 
when walking with that, but what the ramble dag does is uh, it allows you, certainly allows me to settle into a pace that's comfortable with me. And obviously with the flexibility or uh, movement uh, with the tag, it makes it for myself and apparently for a lot of other people uh, a lot easier, you know, to walk along with. Okay. Although you have got that distance, you've still got that, you know, um, primal, I guess, uh, you know, that security is there because you've got the handle. Um, for for me, um, it's we'll get a saying over here. It's uh, probably you know one of the best things since sliced bread. Oh wow! Okay. And Lauren, how is it? How is it trying to guide a blind person when using that that rebel tag? Is it easier as opposed to using the Definitely tag? easier. Well, the, part of the reason we came up with it was because I was always like saying I didn't feel he was safe. I had no control over Tom. If he tripped up or anything, he just had such a, a light grip on my arm that I always worried that he just didn't have enough of a secure connection with me. Mm. Um, so, like, for me, it's like I'm a lot more confident using the, the Ramble tag. Uh, and we... we, we you know, every now and then, because we're neighbours, I'll maybe help them to the bin, but we just don't like whenever we're not using it. It just feels like, oh, you know, we're not we're not as safe as what we could be. Mm. Um, so, yeah, safety is, is the, my favourite thing about it, and, and it's very comfortable. You can have your hand in your pocket, or you can have your arm hanging, or you can hold things. Right. You know, your hands are free, so um, you can help a wee bit more in that sense. Okay, and uh, again, we're speaking with, with Lauren and Tom who have developed the Ramble tag. Um, uh, I have another question in that, do you have to be, you know, like um, when they teach you to do the side of God, you have to uh, enunciate certain things in terms of where you're going, going through doors, up, upstairs and making the left turn, right turn, whatever the case may be. With the Ramble tag, is it is it is it easier in terms easier, of yeah. being able to follow? You, you know where I'm going with it? Go ahead, Tom. Uh, I was just thinking, um, in certain circumstances, in fact, I would tend to say in most that difficulties you were going, to, you may come across uh, being guided in the conventional method, for example, say two heavy doors, mm. um, rather than uh, the, the first, you, on most occasions, you would maybe have to let go, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of your guide right, uh, right. so that he could, you know, open both doors. Whereas with the Ramble tag, he's still able to do that. And, you know, uh, well, my guide would say to me, well, hold on to that one and let's go through. So, yeah, I think that um, it offers, um, there's a whole load of benefits. More and more uh, seem to come to light uh, the more you use it and the more other people use it. So, um, as I say, the, not only the, the flexibility um, that it allows me, but I think uh, uh, there are a lot of applications um, that the Ramble tag, you know, easily fits in with. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, how, how, how has the, the reception been, Lauren, for uh, uh, you all uh, using the Ramble tag going out in public? What kind of stares, if any, have y'all been getting? Yeah. Well, in a good way, um, and it's not just us that have said it, but especially during COVID, if we're using it, people see the, the bright orange material and they kind of glance at it and they know to give you a bit of space. So it's quite a good signaler to other people um, to just give you a bit of room because a lot of people will walk about linking arms, you know, couples, mm. friends, whatever, who are not necessarily guiding each other. But when it's when this is on, people see it as a tool, and and they, they instantly seem to know. All right, give step aside or um, give a little bit more room. So it's it's been quite beneficial for from that point of view as well. I kind of like what Tom has stated in terms of if you you know strangers, because sometimes I don't like put my hands on a stranger's elbow or arm because it's kind of like violating a person's space and whatnot. And by using that yeah. the, the ramble tag, it kind of like you know you, you still keep your, your your space and distance and, and whatnot while still you know doing mm -hmm. what you need to do. Tom, you want to comment on that? Mm -hmm. There's a big thing going on over here. You know, ask, don't grab, mm -hmm. and I think that. Uh, it's so light, and I mean, you could you could have one in your pocket just now, or you know, a lady could have it in her handbag, 
Is the lady all right? Can I say lady? Yeah. And I'm, I, get, I don't know what you can say anymore. <laughs> no. Quiet! Oh, he's got a temperature thing that likes to tell you what temperature it is. Uh, well, look. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, she'll stop. Sorry. She'll stop that, talking. Her. She's second. gone. Oh. Um, so, so, go ahead. You, you go, Anthony. Sorry. No, no, no. You, you. Were, no, I was just basically saying that I, I like the ramble tag because it allows you to not really uh, yeah. violate a person's yeah. space and whatnot. Because yeah. you know, you, mm-hmm. you, you don't want to get up on, and you know, especially with the the uh, COVID going around, you know, kind of like want stay your distance. So I think that's a good, uh, good idea. How long have, how long has been this uh, ramble tag been out, and and what has the, been the reception amongst? Uh, other so, um, we we invented it in two thousand eighteen. Sorry, it's getting very dark here. We're at a window, and it's getting dark. Uh, 2018 we invented it so it was pre-COVID so we never ever had it you know invented it for reasons of germs or anything like that but Mm. as a result it became useful for that reason that it's easy to wash and you're not touching fabric and everything but um, yeah so the first year we were really kind of targeting the idea of it being more comfortable and giving the blind person more independence and control themselves. Um, so that that was our initial thing. And then we started thinking assistance, you know, wheelchairs are not a, a valid kind of option. There should be something else for blind people to use, a tool that they can get led about airports, etc. And so we, we started focusing on that and then people would say we love it for the reason of, you know, some some women, female guides might prefer it. Just, you know, right. it, it, just the, the, a wee bit of a uh, spatial, you know, just right. comfort, you know. Right. Um, and so the, everybody kind of came to us that were using it and liked it for different reasons, like a husband or a wife, a husband liked it because his wife, who was blind, had big sharp nails, and when she right. held his arm, she, she, so she there are a lot of benefits him. for it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so that's that's a good thing. Um, I, I kind of like I, I kind of like that. Hold it up before we leave and let. Uh, you got one. And I will let, get one. Uh-huh. I'll put the camera on Tom, yeah. and I'll do some shuffling away. Okay, as we as we conclude, uh, I want to thank you all for coming on. But um, what was the last? Oh. Uh, send me your description, uh, the, the links and everything, because I'm gonna put them in in the uh, description for those individuals who would like to uh, to to purchase yeah. one of these. Because I had yeah. seen the website where you can actually go. Go ahead, Tom. Uh-huh. The, the the website is uh, Ramble Tag, R A M B L E T A G dot co dot uk. I'm sure that uh, Laura will be be able to tell you other uh, yeah. platforms that will be able to be found on. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, as I say, uh, ramblotag.co.uk uh, and you'll find us. Uh-huh. And okay. Here's right, well, Laura back with the... Uh, <laughs> send me the link. <laughs> oh, so as, we, as, as we conclude uh, this, uh, and this I think is a very good invention, on Promotional Time Sunday, Laura is going to show us the, the tag again and everything. Yeah, and sorry, it, we're just getting a light turned on <laughs> for okay. a second. Okay. It got dark very quickly. Okay, Have you got it there? No. Is it a big light up here? No, no, don't be gassed. Sorry, give give us a few seconds. We'll okay, get no, a light. No problem. Let me, you let me know when it's on because I'm gonna edit. You <laughs> let me, and then I can. <laughs> well do. But we have in the meantime, I'll tell you, we have a few different versions of them. So we've got the original one, which is a loop handle. And then we've got the Metro tag, which we designed with a very flat handle because some people might want to feel even closer to their guide. And then we've got the small one that goes on the wrist. So we've got guide runners that run with them. Um, and a lot, oh, there we go, we've got light. Okay. So a lot of people uh, like them for running instead of the running tethers because they've got a lot more um, a firm, secure kind of bounce when they're running rather than a, a loose uh, tether. So I'll hold up. This is the one that I pulled out the bag, so probably relevant. It's a wee tartan one. So this is our, our oh, I'm going the opposite way, tartan ramble tag. And then if I turn it to the side... You can see the, the handle, so it's just a kind of enough to put four fingers through. Okay. But some people just link two fingers, one finger, you can hold it near the top if you prefer. Okay. And then Velcro noises. 
Okay. So that goes that goes around the sight the uh the sighted person who's gonna be doing the, the guiding, right? Yeah, yeah, so that wraps around the arm. So just two velcro straps, pop it around the arm, close it up with the velcro, and that's it. Oh, okay. Where am I? <laughs> I'm in the wrong arm oh, for right. Tom to hold. <laughs> okay, well, there <laughs> you have it. I am looking in a mirror oh, yeah. the, uh, video as well. <laughs> That's us. We're off. <laughs> okay, fellas and ladies and audience, there you have it. We have uh, the Ramble tag. I'm definitely uh, going to put the, the links in the, in the description for you, for people who are interested in checking it, checking it out. I think it's a great invention. Man. I, I wish you all the best of luck uh, on, on this invention. What, what do you have coming up next? Anything? Uh, well, we're working on all the uh, Tate galleries, the big um, art galleries in Britain. Um, so we've got uh, got them into the Tate. So when they do like um, oh, sighted yeah. audio description tours, their staff will wear them and guide people around. So we're just trying to get it into as many public spaces as you know, as we think, as we can, really. Mm -hmm. um, so working on that and just trying to be known in other countries. So we've got a distributor in America, uh, the Low Vision Shop, so in, in Maryland. So if anyone in America is wanting one, they, they could order from him if they want it quicker. Um, and then we're, we've got a distributor in Canada. So we're just trying to get Australia, talking to Sweden. So just trying to conquer the world a wee bit. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to do my best to try to promote it and whatnot. And I thank you all for coming on, Tom and Lauren, and presenting okay, the good. Ramble Tag. Uh, my name is Anthony Parker. Thanks to my audience for participating. Uh, definitely, man. Y'all check out the website. I'm going to, again, put the uh, links in the description. So with that being said, thanks for coming on Third Eye Visions. Please support Lauren and Tom. Y'all have been my newfound friend. And when y'all get some of that good scotch over there, <laughs> we'll, raise a, we'll raise a glass for you and Anthony will send you one if you think that you might want to use one yes you try? yes, right? yes. You ping, ping me your address and that and I'll uh, we'll get one out to you right thank would you, you like so a, thank you so go ahead, yeah go ahead, go ahead. would you like a top and one <laughs> uh, put, yeah, uh, why don't you initially Tom put you all put you all's uh, autograph on it for me for real we will. Well, we'll do that. <laughs> Thanks, y'all, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Because I, I didn't want to just ask, but I appreciate that. Thanks so much. <laughs> Well, we That'd appreciate be... this. So thanks, thanks for having us on your your show. No problem. Yeah. I'm gonna let y'all. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know when y'all um when, when when it's aired. Uh, before I go, say something in in uh in uh in your native tongue. Either one of y'all. Um, like... It's a it's a pro brecht moonlight nicht the nicht. Aye. <laughs> and what did he say? Good morning. He said, Come morning. see the Loch Ness Monster. I'm away for a cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> well, for tea, hen. Mince it's, and tatties. You need to it, it sounded good. <laughs> Whatever y'all said, it sounded good. <laughs> Thanks a lot, y'all. <laughs> All right, bye. Right, take care. All right, you too. Cheers. Okay. <laughs>